This video shows you how to connect to Google Analytics, use a pre-built data feed to obtain your data, build a data feed manually, and obtain live real-time data. To connect ClickSense or ClickView to your Google Analytics account, select the connector from the premium list and then click the Authenticate button. You will be prompted to enter your username and password and then to allow access to your Google Analytics data. Once you have accepted, you will receive a token that you must copy and paste into the ClickWeb connectors. Then click Save. If this is your first time using the connector, the easiest way to start getting data is to use a pre-built query. For example, using the data from template query table. Select the web profile for which you would like the data, then pick a query. Select a start date and end date, and click on the Save Inputs and Run Table button to receive the script to insert into your ClickSense or ClickView application. You can copy the code and insert it into your ClickView or ClickSense application, or if you work with ClickSense, you can use this link. Open ClickSense. Use an existing app or create a new one. Select the Connect My Data tab and then select Web File. Paste in the URL and give a name to this connection. Then load the data into your app. Now you can use the uploaded data to populate your sheet. You can also add your data by building your data feed manually. To do this, you can use the Data Feed Query Explorer. Click on Click Here to Authorize. This will allow you to select your site IDs and other items from the drop-down. Select one or more metrics that you want to add and then select the dimensions. You can then define other optional fields. Run the query and when complete, you will receive the URI for this query. Copy and paste it into the Google Analytics connector in the Data from Query URI tab. This will give you the code that you can paste into the data load editor in ClickSense or ClickView. Alternatively, as before, you can load the code directly into ClickSense by selecting the Web File tab and pasting in the URI. As you can see, your data has been uploaded and you can use it in your analysis. You can also have access to real-time data using the Real-Time Data Table. To obtain real-time data, you need to manually insert a query. Insert your Google Analytics ID, and then add the dimensions and measures you want. In this case, we want to know the number of current active visitors and the visitor types. When you have finished the query, run the table to obtain the result. Since there are no visitors on the website at the moment, the table is empty. But you can follow the same steps to have real-time data available to you. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.